What's good, fellas, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be doing Cincinnati by high demand. You guys have been asking for this for a very long time. We're finally doing it today. Three-star school. I think they should be a little bit higher than that, but they have a 90 overall team, 86 offense, 92 defense. Probably going to be the most dominant team in the American. I will move Louisville to the ACC after the first season, but yeah, let's get into it, fellas. So looking at the red shirt list, there's a lot of... Wow cornerback we got receivers we have a quarterback we don't even need to get a quarterback we even have a middle linebacker doesn't get much better than that all right so even though we're a three-star school what's the what's the verdict not looking too great to start out we'll chuck some of these guys on if i feel like it's necessary what do we got all right let's see what we got 71 overall 85 punter yeah this is exactly what i'm talking about right here buddy all right, so we are B plus, B and A minus in our first season. 90, 86, 92. We should be able to put in some work. 56 to 14 against Purdue. Wow, what a way to start the rebuild. All right, what kind of low lock are we going to find for the good old Cincinnati Bearcats? Got a couple athletes. I'm going to pick everybody up that I can. The first year is the most important. The good news is we do not need a quarterback unless he decides to transfer. Wish I should hope he wouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? 645. There's a lot of good O-linemen here, bro. 75 to start out. Woo! Maurice Fork goes up 11 overall. 71. Let's go. Let's keep the momentum going. Travis Kemp. Not to be confused with Travis Kelsey. He's a 76 overall. Another gem. I'll take that. I want Iguodala, Chad Humphrey going up big boy overall there. So far, it's off to a little bit of a tricky start, but it's looking good for the most part. It's looking quite good. We'll see what comes out of it. So getting a little bit of an update on what's going on. There's a lot of people that are about to come in for visits, so hopefully they sign the next week. Other than that, the team is doing absolutely amazing. We've got a couple good wide receivers. Offensive line should actually be finished in the first year, which is uh, a first ever for the channel history. Five-year rebuilds. Very exciting. We pick up Vince Birch, Chase Wesley, Travis Kemp, Jason Myers. Big chill, and that's exactly what we wanted to happen. All right, let's see how good we can get with this. A little bit of low lock cheese. Defensive end looks pretty good. The only problem is he's a Juco Jr. Not a lot of use for this bloke. All right, we'll give him a Scully and 700. Ah, uh, what else we got? Not a whole lot, unfortunately. I think we might be done with season one. I'm going to say, I'm just going to solidify this with a couple of 700 points here. Other people ready for visits as well. Let's just go to the end of season one and see what happens. Okay, well, on the plus side, we did sign a lot of talent, which is really good. Our quarterback will be playing next year. We're ranked seven. Feels bad, man. I don't even care about the bowl game at this point because it's not the bloody natty. Entering season two, we absolutely dominated season one. So that means we're up to a four-star school now, I want to say. And uh, now we have a maxed out DC, so our defense is about to be crazy bro we had a top 10 class didn't expect that we are to a four star school no five stars eight four stars not a bad class though at all mixed with the fact that our whole receiving core is done wow next year is about to go crazy absolutely crazy looking forward to it so there are a couple of people i do want to red shirt heading into the next season i'm gonna red shirt this guy just so the other guy doesn't whinge and leave and we have a lot of freshmen here that I'm going to redshirt as well with the chance that they don't want to leave. The tight end has to be redshirted. This year, we need a lot of things. But now that we're a four-star, it should be relatively easy to get him. So that is one hell of an offensive lineman to start out. Luke Brown, six foot seven and runs a 4-4-4. Four, four, four. But holy moly, that guy is going to be a beast no matter where we put him. A five-star wide receiver, four-star guard. Woo, I love being a four-star school. Could you imagine if we make him a six foot seven cornerback? We have to do that, right, Chad? We need Luke Brown. All right, I am offering Luke Brown instantly and 700 points because there's no way I'm letting a six foot seven corner go to waste. So in season two, we are rank six to start out. B plus A minus and B. All right, the first two players in the class are both low lock players. Very, very good start to our season two low lock cheese. We've got a five star running back. I, don't, I definitely do not need a receiver, but I'll take a cornerback. So many gems, bro. What is this? I need this tackle so bad, Jack Robinson. Oh my goodness. Yes. 92 throw power. Beastly running back. Another gem. I'm feeling it. Jack Robinson. I thought he'd go up a lot more. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of annoying. 81 overall for Ricky Demp. 
Kevin Strickland gonna go up a lot overall as well. Frederick, he's gonna go up as well. And now we are approaching rank one and two in the class. Corey Fernando, survey says, 79 overall, beastly quarterback. Great cornerback as well. Marcus Banks, rank one in the class. True 81 overall, bro. Ah, man, we're gonna have to try and commit people as soon as possible because I just do not have the points. So I'm gonna bring everybody in for a visit as soon as humanly possible. Wow, look at that, let's go! Wait, is Luke Brown committed? Yes, we got Luke Brown, the six foot seven player, let's go! And we're ranked two, bro. Big lead on the two top prospects in the class. Uh, I guess I'll give these guys a scholarship. I don't really want them that bad, but they seem pretty interested in the school, so why not slap him? Um, Kelvin Strickland. I need Kemp as well. I feel like we're going to be able to get him. This is rank one in the nation right here. This class is with easily rank one. Like, without a doubt, rank one. Marcus Banks, Mike Frederick are going to commit. That's two of the top players in the class. We do sign a lot of really stud players, a lot of running backs, ETC. Are we in the top two, though? And we did not make the natty even though we went 12 and oh chat, happy days. We got Iowa, Clemson and Oregon all undefeated, but they all have to play teams. So if they lose, there is a chance that we hop them. So somehow, even though we're 12 and oh, we actually dropped down. Okay, so Florida and Ohio State who have two losses, um, jumped us. Cool, I love that. I just love when I get jumped by teams that have lost twice. It's a lot of fun. I love when that happens. So, it turns out we beat Oklahoma. And we're not meant to be in the natty. Get out of here. All right, so we're losing a lot of players. That is not good. Probably going to go down overall. Ricky Kemp going to join the squad. That is the number one class. We kind of guessed that. Let me just see how good this team is. We signed six five stars and 12 four stars. That is undoubtedly a GOAT level class right there. Not only that, we signed a six foot seven quarterback and rank one and rank two in the nation, bro. So our best player from our class will probably be our middle linebacker and our quarterback, which is really good. I got to remember that we're only in season two, about to enter season three. Things will get better. Right now, we're not that great. Alrighty, let's see what we got. We're now a five-star school. I'm not, I'm going to be honest, there's not a lot that we need. I'll take tight ends. I will take linebackers. We got a five-star athlete. That is interested. Let's go. Wide receiver athlete. What we got? Athlete, athlete, athlete. I need a linebacker, so thank you very much. Middle linebacker. I will take that. His name is Kevin Gates as well. Now I really want that guy to join the team. Woo, Kevin Gates is a whole 80 overall. Wow, 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 wow. I like that a lot. Tyrone Ross. Okay, we got some nice little signings there. Somehow we're still ranked 23rd. This is definitely an off year for us, but it is a progression year. Kevin Gates is essentially in the bag at this point, but I'm not going to stop recruiting this season until we at least sign him. On the plus side, we did just sign Kevin Gates. Funny joke, yes, but that pretty much ends the part of the rebuild where we uh, will be doing uh doing any recruiting basically gonna go through season four and five the team is done now that we got our brand new middle linebacker no national championship in season three feels bad man okay nice 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 not a lot in season three to really talk about it was a pretty down year for us Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo! yes sir that's good that's a that's a good pull so we got a shitty golet but i got this it's shiny too Okay, that was definitely a down year, and I'm looking to move right past that shit. So, as we know, Season 4, Season 5 is simulation years. The team is ready to go, and we have brand, two new brand new uh, coordinators. We are B+, plus, A+, plus, and B. Our defense is still struggling. 97, 87. Hopefully, our defense steps it up this year. They're going to need to step it up, because that is not good. We won the Orange Bowl. That's really good to see. 10 and 3 record isn't the worst thing in the world. Transferring due to playtime, that's fine. We're only losing four players. Literally four players. That is it. All right, checking it out, heading into our final year. Not as many 90s as I would have hoped, but we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We got 11 90 pluses. Decent amount of really high 80s as well. The Most of the team, in fact, is high 80s. It is natty season. Let me check who we got on the sketch. Why are we starting with Michigan, bro? Ah, oh, yikers. Okay, whatever. All right, so in season five, we are A plus, A plus. The only thing that's letting us down is our defense. 
They are 93 though, so not that bad in all honesty. It all starts with a loss to Michigan, bro. We finished rank 19. Feels bad, man. Ha! Ah, we had so much potential as well. Playing Ole Miss, who we actually lost to. We're way better than them. Let's get a little look at the uh, the career stats of some of the players on the squad. 10,000 yards for our quarterback, Evan Prater. 109 touchdowns, 40 interceptions. 1,600 rushing yards as well. 15 on the ground, Ramirez with 1,500. Ethan Wright with 1,200. Not bad at all. That was rushing, sorry. Receiving 2181 for Chad Humphrey. He's only a junior. What a beast. 27 touchdowns in three seasons is absolutely no joke, mate. I need to go straight to the sack. 17 now for Brian Lloyd, who's a senior. Ricky Kemp, who has 15.5 as a junior. This right end also has an interception. Quite a few picks for AJ Perkins. Sammy, what else we got on total tackles? One for Jacob Hartman, 104 for AJ Perkins. Wow, oh, Ole Miss going to tie the game up in the fourth quarter. All right, let me see if I can get a return going here. Oh, I thought he was going to block the other guy. We scored with a minute left. Can we hold him out? Survey says fourth and eight. Whoa, close game. I actually like that. 31 to 24 was your final score. Cincinnati going to go, what? 12 with 12 and 2, so 13 and 2 on the season. Fellas, if you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. Hey, I love to talk. I don't talk. I get it. Yeah, you know I'm about to dip it. Kill me, I'm a lead it. Run into the bag like I'm so athletic. I've been up since six, making hits like tennis. I've been on fire. I just need my credit. Wanna go far? Need to change my settings. Reaching for the stars on so my feet, touch heaven. I've been head first.